The Moving Average Convergence Divergence Technical Indicator, more commonly called MACD. Is it popular because it works? I don't pretend to be a trading guru, but I thought it would be helpful to run thousands of simulations. If this is the first time you've heard of the MACD, the TLDR is that it follows market trends and shows momentum. Basically, we buy whenever the blue line crosses above the orange and sell when it crosses below. Since MACD is a lagging indicator, it generates cleanly, but only after a market movement has occurred and could be dangerous to use if the market is undecided. The most common complaint, and why people tend not to like it, is that it's slow. It's relatively easy to understand though, which makes it a nice opportunity. With the math from before, we can quickly write a script to simulate the trade logic, and using the last two years of Bitcoin to USDT trading history, we get the following results, with 463 trades on two-hour candles. Running the same algorithm on other timeframes, we can see some perform better than others. A popular interpretation is that markets tend to have more noise on lower timeframes, and may lead to false positives. Before moving on, I'm going to drop the bottom three performers. Now, the standard MACD uses 12, 26, and 9 periods for the fast EMA, slow EMA, and signal line. But do we know if these are really the best? Let's try multiple variables. The notation here means we're grabbing values 10 to 14 with increments of 1. Once our 700 simulations are complete, the simplest approach is to sort our test results by profit. We can spot check the input parameters and see if there's a trend. Practically speaking though, we should opt for a more nuanced view that includes things like maximum drawdown or average profitability per trade. My goal with this exploration is to demonstrate the opportunity of one indicator. On that note, is there anything else we can do to improve the MACD? Maybe we can filter using a simple moving average that tells us the overall trend. In this version of the script, the idea is to only enter trades when the trend is up. On multiple timeframes, our initial results are pretty abysmal. That said, we can always check if there's a better combination of parameters. Now looking at the top results of our 2800 tests, I'm satisfied enough to say that there's probably a better method. What if instead of a moving average, we created a sort of smaller MACD? Applying a similar logic, but with smaller periods, gives us a shorter range indicator to show if price is moving quickly. Our earlier results show it to be working properly with significantly fewer trades and greater returns. Our optimization is more of the same story. This same strategy seemed to also work well with different assets, but keep in mind these were a handful of top results from thousands of tests. I would strongly recommend a paper trade before giving this any serious consideration. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if there are any indicators worth looking into. Otherwise, happy testing!